Hi guys, Adam from Try Manual here. Welcome to our video all about sculling. Okay guys, so what is sculling? Sculling is simply moving yourself through the water by using your hands in different ways and learning about how moving our hands relates to moving ourselves through the water. Sometimes you might watch kids that jump straight in the pool and they have this natural feel for the water where they're able to effortlessly move themselves up and down. The same comes for competitive swimmers. Sometimes, especially as adults late for swimming, we lack this natural feel for the water and sculling is one of the quickest ways to gain this feeling and understanding of how we should be moving ourselves. A really nice visual I like to use to understand and explain sculling is imagine we have a person in lane one. This person's not an experienced swimmer, but they're super fit, they're super strong, they're tall, they've got big hands, and they look like they should be able to fly through the water. And in lane two, we're gonna have them up against small, 10 year old, let's say four foot something, tiny hands, but this person is an experienced swimmer. Now, if I was to ask them to move themselves through the water, just by using their hands out in front, I would place my bets that the smaller, experienced swimmer who has a great feel for the water can move themselves quicker to the other end. This is all about feel for the water. The more you develop this, the more this will come across in your front crawl swimming. There are many different types of sculling, some where our arms are going to be out in front, some where they're by our sides. We're going to go through four main types of sculling in this video. Okay guys, first we're going to look at front scull. This skull, we're on our front and our arms are extended out in front and our key thing we're working on is having our fingers below our wrist. Let's take a look at how to do the drill properly. For front skull, we're looking straight ahead our arms are out in front and we're using a pool boy so we don't need to kick. Let's take a look under the water. As you can see, it's a nice sweeping side to side movement and it's really important to make sure that our fingers are below our wrists to ensure that we're pressing water back in this direction. It's very common for beginners and intermediates when they're doing this to have their hand flat in this position. So if you find you're not going anywhere or you're slowing down throughout the length, have a look at your hand position and make sure that you're pushing backwards rather than straight down at the front of the stroke. Okay guys, next we're going to look at mid skull. So this skull is on our front. This way our arm is going to be about a third through the front crawl pull. And on this you really want to be focusing on keeping your elbow up high and using your hand and forearm to push water backwards. Let's take a look at how to do the drill properly. For mid skull, our head is down and we're still using a pool boy so there's no need to be kicking your legs while doing the drill. Let's take a look underwater. As you can see, it's a nice side to side sweeping movement and we're focusing on pressing water backwards. So this means that your fingertips wanna be below your wrist and your wrist wants to be below your elbow so that you're pushing water in this direction. It's a nice sweeping side to side position. If you find that you're slowing down through the length, Take a look at your hand and forearm position. Make sure that it is like this and try to avoid pressing down at the front. So many people end up with their hand in this position, which means they're pressing water straight down at the front. Next, we're gonna look at doggy skull. On this skull, we're gonna be on our front using alternate arms, a little bit like doggy paddle to move ourselves through the water. doggy skull our head is down and you can either breathe to the front or to the side like our swimmer is doing there and we use again using a pool boy so there is no need to kick your legs while doing this let's take a little look under the water so as you can see 
We want a good focus on pressing the water backwards again. So that means high elbow and high wrist pressing through this direction. And then we're going to push all the way down so we're level with our pull boy or our thigh down here. And then when the arm recovers, it's just going to come back under the water. So it doesn't come over the top and then it just reaches fully forwards again. And we're just focusing on pressing back, pressing back, pressing back as we go through the water. The final skull we're going to look at is called back skull. For this, we're going to be on our back with our arms by our sides. This is really good for working on the final phase of our front crawl stroke. Let's take a look at how to do the drill properly. So for back skull, we're going to be on our back, looking straight ahead and with our arms by our side. Again, we're using a pull boy, so there's no need to kick while doing this. Our arms are going to be in a side to side sweep in motion, the same as we've done on all of the other drills. And we'll take a look now under the water so you can see what direction we need to be pressing. So it's really key when we're doing this sculling drill that our hands are pressing the water towards our feet all the time. So if I freeze frame a few moments here, you're going to see our swimmer's hands are in this position. So we're pushing water that direction. It's very common for beginner and intermediate swimmers to have their hand flat. And then all that's going to be happening is you're just going to be pushing water towards the bottom of the pool. So a really big focus on this is on making sure that as that hand pushes, all of the effort we're pushing through is pushing the water down towards our feet so that we move forwards. Also, make sure that you keep your head nice and far back so that you're not sitting up in the water. So on our sculling, we wanna be using our hands to push ourselves forwards. So it's really important during sculling you focus on a few things. One, pressing backwards. So very often in sculling, people can be moving their hands, but we're just pushing water down. It's really important that we're moving ourselves forward by pushing water backwards. The second thing to think of is it wants to be a nice consistent movement. So if I demonstrate front skull is like this, I'm pushing out and in, and there's a nice constant pressure on my hand. It doesn't want to be like breaststroke. So it's not a push and a recovery like this. That's just breaststroke. So nice side to side movement. There's lots of ways people describe this. Sometimes people describe it as a figure of eight movement. Sometimes people describe it as wiping a table. I like to just think of it as one long continuous movement when we're sculling. If at first you find that these are slow for you and you're not really moving anywhere, my advice is practice, practice, practice. These really are something that the more you do, the quicker and more natural it will start to feel. Although do remember that even for really good swimmers, these aren't fast drills. Slow technique, focusing on a nice feel for the water is the most important thing. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully you found this video on sculling useful. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below for us and we'll get back to you. If you'd like to see more of our content, visit trymanual.com, subscribe to our YouTube or follow us on social media. Thanks for watching guys, happy training.